Of course, I'm a Claridian person. I often hear my native name, especially voices and sounds in my ear canals, mostly at night, and it doesn't mean anything to me anymore. <laughs> Before you say, ah, this one, what did you carry come? Let me tell you that you might even be one. A lot of people actually are Claridian people without even knowing. It is not something that you need to um, be scared of. It is a normal thing. It is Claridians. It is called clear hearing, more or less like psychic hearing. Now, in the literal sense, it actually means someone who actually has the ability to hear what others can't possibly hear at a given time. But it also has a different meaning when it comes to the metaphysical and spiritual sense. Now, in the metaphysical sense, it means someone who has the ability to receive messages from not here, the physical. It's actually a spirit language. It's actually a spirit communication where you can be able to receive a message across from the spirits. You can communicate with the spirits, but only through hearing. They send their messages through weird noises, whistling and calling you names or passing along some phrasing and allow you to just transcribe it on your own because you have the ability to do so. And these are the signs that tells that you might be a Claridian person. Number one, you can actually hear what others can't hear. Number two, you can sometimes hear your names, especially when you are in a very quiet environment. You can actually hear your name or a message or a whistling, weird whistling, then that gives you that goosebumps and you look around, no one is actually around you. That is two. Number three, you talk to yourself a lot. You talk to yourself a lot and when you talk to yourself, you invest emotions, you put in work like you are actually talking to a physical person. You are a Claridian person. Number four, you listen to music to connect to your soul. You pick songs because you can actually communicate with that very song and you let it hit your soul. You don't just play songs because everybody's playing songs. You filter your songs before you consume them. Number five, as you were growing up, you had imaginary friends, real imaginary friends. Number six, you love a very quiet environment. Number seven, you can be able to get a sign or a message wrapped in a song, hidden in a song. You can be able to um, decode it and tell what the message is. Number eight, you're always observant of your environment. You overread people in short. Let me put it mildly. You overrate people. 